welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this jp infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a java web application project which is entitled as online oxygen management system or oxygen supply management system or oxygen cylinder management system so coming to the project especially in covid situation in countries like india there was a demand for oxygen cylinders so there was no proper connectivity from the oxygen suppliers to the users of the hospitals so people were asking for the oxygen cylinders through social media or sms or through manual word to mouth so to overcome this situation we have created a platform for connecting the users or patients or hospitals with the oxygen suppliers so this project deals with the online oxygen management system so here you can see the architecture where it has the three entities that is user the hospital and the oxygen supplier and they can check the oxygen supplier suppliers details and they can order the details and they can get their required things and here you can see the modules which the entities of the project that is user hospital and the oxygen supplier now let us see the execution of the project so we have developed this project in apache netbeans ide so just open apache netbeans ide 13 and just go to file menu click open project now go to the source code location online oxygen management system in the source code you can see online oxygen management the project name and then click open project now kindly wait till the complete project is loaded into the netbeans ide meanwhile we will attach the database in the mysql so just go to mysql administrator enter the credentials now go to the restore option just select open backup file again go to the project location where you can find the database folder just select the database oxygen management and then click start restore and now you can see the message the restore operation was finished successfully and then click close now you can close this mysql administrator part now let us move to the apache netbeans ide 13 so it is going to complete so kindly wait till the process has been completed So now it has been completed now first let us start the server so just go to the servers part start the server now it asks for the authentication so just enter the username and password which you have used for the configured time we have used admin and admin so i have entered the same and then click ok now go to the project part so now let us click the project title online oxygen management system and right click it and then select run So now the build is successful and it will be navigated to the browser part so here you can see the online oxygen management system the home screen will come screen of the project with the project title online oxygen management system and here you can see the entities user hospital or oxygen supplier so first let me go to the user part so once if you click the user you can see the user login page so as i am a new user i'll be going for the registration part first and then coming back to the login part so first it will be navigated to the user registration part so just enter your details name your email id your phone number your address your password and then click sign up and now you can see the registration successful message click ok now let us go to the user part so now you can see the user login where you need to enter the detail that you have used during the registration time so let me enter my email id and the password and then click login so now you can see the login is successful and click ok 
now now you can see the home screen for the user so it is welcome with the jay prakash the name of the user and here you can see the options of view oxygen cylinders your orders graph and logout so first let me go to the view oxygen cylinders part so just click view oxygen cylinders so now you can see what are all the oxygen cylinders that is available and what is the name and what is the quantity of it so here you can see abd oxygen online oxygen so if you wanted to check you can just click this more details if you are clicking this more details you can see the complete detail of this oxygen cylinder that is company name abd oxygen price per cylinder is 5000 rupees an image of it what is the water capacity 10 liters working pressure 150 bar oxygen purity 94 percentage gas name oxygen material name mild steel country of origin is india S cylinder height is 330 mm and gas type is d type available quantity is 50 so if you wanted to buy these you can click this order the same you can see the other company if you click more details you can see the details of this whichever part you wanted you can just uh, ask them so if you wanted to contact them directly you can just uh, message them directly so let me so now if you go to your orders part you can see there is no any orders now i have not placed any orders just i have seen the details so the orders part is empty and let me go to the graph part so this is a dynamic graph so this graph shows the available quantity of the oxygen cylinders so here you can see abd oxygen consists of 50 quantity that has been shown here and online oxygen it is 45 so this is dynamic according to the quantity and according to the company it varies and let me show you the difference also now so first let me log out from this part let me go to the hospital part so here you can see the hospital login same as we have done for the user part so first let let us register with the hospital part so let me enter the hospital name here in the regi hospital registration part so just enter the or name of the hospital the email id the phone number address and the password and then click sign up and you can see the registration is successful message and click okay now let me go to the hospital login part this is the hospital login part and enter the email id and the password which you have used during the registration time and then click okay and now you can see the login is successful message and click okay so now it is navigated to the welcome screen of the hospital part so welcome apollo hospital and here you can see the same options of view oxygen cylinders and you can see your orders and you can see the graph of it so now let me show you the hospital is ordering some quantity so let me show you that so let me go to the more details of abd and i am ordering and click this order part so here you can see the price you can enter the quantity the maximum available quantity is 50 if i am entering 55 okay, if i click uh, order it will be showing that value must be less than or equal to 50 because the available quantity is 50 only so let me enter 10 and here automatically the price is been updated according to the quantity that you are entering so if i am up if i am increasing the quantity you can see the price is increase if i am decreasing the price is decrease according to the quantity that i am entering and price it is will calculated and will be updated here so let me click order so now the order is been placed now you can see the available quantity is decreased to 40 so now let me show go to your orders of the hospital part here you can see what is the order that i have placed the company name abd oxygen ordered quantity is 10 total amount is 50000 on order time and date and status you can see waiting because only if the supplier approves the request the order will be placed so now let us see that so in the graph part as i said this is a dynamic one earlier you you would have seen abd oxygen was 50 now you can see it is 40 on uh, this online oxygen is 45 so according to the quantity it will dynamically the graph has been updated now let me log out from this part and go to the oxygen supplier part so in the oxygen supplier part 
so first let me show you the registering a new company of oxygen supplier so let me go to the oxygen supplier and uh, here you can see the oxygen supplier register and enter the company name so let me enter as jp oxygen Co. and let me enter the email id phone number address and the password and then click sign up and now you can see the registration is success and click ok and let me go to the oxygen supplier login part and enter the detail that we have used during the registration part click login and now the login is successful and click ok and now you can see the welcome screen for the oxygen supplier so here you can see welcome jp oxygen co so here you can see the details of ad stock view user orders view hospital orders messages and logout so first let me go to the ad stock part so in the ad stock part you the the company can add the stock details according to their availability so let me enter few sample and show you like that you can check with some other also so water capacity in liters and working pressure oxygen purity gas name material country of origin cylinder height gas type and here in the cylinder image just kindly enter some image which is lesser size don't give some higher size images it may throw some error and here you can preview the image of it whichever you uploaded and here you can enter the quantity so let me enter 100 quantity and what is the price of it let me enter 1000 rupees and then click submit and now you can see the product is added successfully and click ok and now let me log out from this part and let me go to the user part So once after the user is logged in, just go to view oxygen cylinders where now you can see JP Oxygen Co company details. So earlier you would have seen only the two parts, two company details. Now you can see the third one with the available quantity and more details. Just if you click more details, you can see the detail that we have entered all the details of it. So now if you wanted to place this order, let, let me order and let me enter the quantity as uh, 50 and total price and then let me place the order now the order is placed and now let me click ok so now if you go to your orders part so here it was empty now you can see your orders of the user is placed with the company name ordered quantity total amount order date and time and you can see that the status has been waiting part so now if you go to view oxygen cylinders you can see the available quantity is decreased to 50 now let me show you the graph part so as i said it is a dynamic graph now you can see the jp oxygen part is also been added here with the quantity that is available now and now let me log out and go to the hospital part and let me order few order again and after entering the username and password credentials we go to the view oxygen cylinders and here you can see the jp oxygen and co and now you can see the jp oxygen and co details of this and let me place order and let me enter the quantity as 50 and then place order ok so now if you go to view oxygen cylinders you can see the jp oxygen co available quantity is zero because i have placed all the orders that is available and if you go to your orders you can see two orders that is being done already we have done this order that is waiting and this order is also been waiting because it is not been uploaded by the supplier yet so now let me show you the graph part so graph part consists of three things that oxygen jp oxygen is zero it's been dynamically updated and log out let me go to the oxygen supplier now
and after entering the username and password credential the login is successful and now if you go to view order user orders so here it has been segregated as two parts that is user orders and hospital orders separately because both the people have been ordered so first let me go to the user order there you can see jay prakash who have ordered the thing that is waiting so let me approve it so once if you click approve you can see the order approved successful message and click ok so now you can see status has been updated to approved and if you go to view hospital orders there you can see apollo hospital who has approved was ordered it and you can approve it just click approve button so order has been approved successful and click ok now let me in messages part you can see there is no messages available till now so let me log out so if you go to user part and check what is the status of it and once the username and password has been validated you can just go to your orders part and you can see here that it was waiting and now you can see the status has been approved now and finally if you go to the contact part of this so now you can see the available quantity is zero if the user wants to contact the supplier just click the contact and it will be navigated to this order oxygen cylinder quantity so message so just you can enter the message urgently i require 50 cylinders to pondicherry so let me enter a sample message like this and click send and you can see the message has been sent successfully and let me log out and let me go to the oxygen cylinder part so once after the username and password is authenticated let me go to the messages part and here you can see the messages that is received from the username jay prakash message urgent i require 50 cylinders to pondicherry and receive date and time of it and in this way the online oxygen management system is being done and this is all about the project online oxygen management system using java and thank you all for watching